www.newtoboss.com. This is Ty. The video that I'm creating right now is still a part of the video tutorial series on Adobe Audition CS6. Functions, tools that you can use to output better recordings or probably quality audio. We have tutorials for beginners and adding in effects and um, shortcuts, uh, time stretch. You can just check that out on the list of videos that we have on our YouTube playlist. And right now on this video, I'd like to show you real quick is how you can simulate uh, a chipmunk voice that's been used on uh, the classic and uh, very famous chipmunk movies. So what you want to do is to... They use songs in there, so you won't want to use a song too. But I'm not going to use a song right now because it's on copyright. So I just would want to use one voice file that we have that we've used before prior I mean on one of our prior tutorials about the pizza ad that we created if you'd want to view that just go back to the list of the videos and search for that in there basic recording this is a raw file a raw voice file that we're going to transform into a chipmunk file uh, open up your Adobe Audition CS6 and go to multi-track right here take on that and you say chip uh, chip rec 01, chipmunk recording 1, then send that to desktop for the path 44100 sample rate, bit depth 32, uh, stereo for uh, its channel, it's going to be okay, it's kind of alright, and you make this a little bit maximized so we can drag it in there. Go load. A file. Let's say you're gonna load a song in there. It's gonna be okay. And also load uh, a voice file. Probably you want to transform it into a chipmunk voice. Put that in there. Drag, and you have that. Let's play that. So you would know what is this voice really. New to boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we're going to add in two solo pizzas to go with your Valentine's date. So what are you waiting for? Call now. Or probably subscribe now. Alright, that's, that's a raw file that we have. Uh, on how you can enhance that, now you can modify that to sound better for a radio ad or probably for uh, something else we have a separate tutorial for that you can just look that up in there on how you could add background music how you could add effects to make it uh, sound more of a depth right sound more of a, of a monetized audio file okay so from there what you just would want to do really is just right click over that and then look for something that says stretch. Right, right click, stretch here. Go to stretch properties. Right, click on that. And before I take on that, go look up on this side. All right, take a look at that part because this is where it's going to fall for the controls. Right click, stretch, stretch properties. And you have your properties now. If you change uh, your console, you can just find that in there. We we'll just say properties and info. Let's we'll say pizza right here for the file name. You got pizza. All right, so that means you're targeting the the raw file that's named pizza. If you have a lot of raw audio files in there, you might want to make sure that you are actually targeting the correct audio file because if you are not, then you mess up a little bit with your audio output. And go to straight down, looking for something that says uh, stretch. All right, and set that mode to real time. You could also use rendered, but again, we're just going to sample this out, and we're just going to output this to mix it down a little bit later. So you got uh, where was that? Now let me go back. I guess I take on something bring that back again right there right click over that stretch stretch properties there you go so you got mode right here you got real time and you got pitch right here you just would want to send the pitch probably to something that says uh, 9.82 let's test that so you got pitch okay 
again let me repeat that right click of that go stretch stretch properties you got stretch properties right here set the mode to real time and type mono it's going to be okay then what you just have to move here for now is the pitch drag that down to 9.82 and when you play that New to boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we're going to add in two solo pizzas to go with your Valentine's Day. So what are you waiting for? Call now. See that? That's going to be, I guess, probably Alvin, right? Or uh, Theodore, maybe. Uh, Jibmunks talk. Probably the interval is too slow, so you might want to stretch that down to something faster. So you got stretch right here. Uh, I would want to show you this. Put your playhead right on the end part of the file. You have to uh, make sure that it's in there and it's going to be decreased going to the inner part. So when you do stretch, uh, take, bring them down to probably like 80. I don't know, let's make it uh, right 80. See that? It's going to not trim anything, but it's just going to uh, make that a little bit faster. Again, it's on uh, 9.82 semitones for the pitch, and stretch would be 80%. New to Boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we're going to add in two solo pizzas to go with your Valentine's Day. So what are you waiting for? Call now. Alright, so there you go. That's your chipmunk right there. If you'd want to enhance it a little bit better. or 9.82 is okay, but let's just test some more. Yeah, I guess it's too much already. It's not a chipmunk anymore. Probably it's uh, it's Iggy, right? <laughs> okay, and if you bring that down, crossing over the zero pa uh, the zero matrix, see as to how it would sound. <laughs> Change that. Your boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get twenty percent discount when you order right now. Plus, we're going to add it. Right, who was that? That's Darth Vader, right? Okay, so that's how you create a chipmunk voice using Adobe Audition CS6. For some other video tutorials, you can check out www.nudaboss.com. My name is Ty. I'm gonna see you back.